Hello, Exchange Beauty Tribe, and welcome to another incredible beauty live. I am your host, Emily, and just like every show, we have another incredible beauty live right before the Thanksgiving holiday and right before Black Friday. So if you're still trying to figure out what should I shop for um, for this Black Friday and Thanksgiving holiday, well, we have got you covered. So with me today, we have assistant social media manager for Maybelline, Giselle. Giselle, how's it going? Hi, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for being here and a very happy early Thanksgiving. Um, so where are you, where are you coming from today? I'm located in New Jersey and our Maybelline headquarters are in New York, Maybelline, New York. Very nice. That's awesome. So I'm so excited. We're talking all things Maybelline and um, we're, this is coming at a perfect time because most of us, right, have Thanksgiving plans tomorrow. We're going to bring you around friends and families. I'm going to a football game, but still you want to have a nice, beautiful, fresh face um, of Maybelline for Thanksgiving. So I'm excited to dive into this. Before we do, just a couple of reminders, Beauty Tribe. Um, Thank you so much for watching. We want to know where you're watching from. So drop in the comments um, your name, where you're watching from. If you have any questions for Giselle throughout the show, please do not hesitate. Drop the comment down below the question and we'll do our best to get to your question. If you have a product you absolutely love from Maybelline, we want to hear about it. Drop it in the comments. Let us know. Make sure you're liking this video. Share it to your page and start your own watching party so your friends can watch the beauty live as well. So we've covered all that. Giselle, so you have this beautiful, gorgeous, fresh face. And yes. you're gonna do something really exciting for us, correct? Yes. So I'm gonna take you guys through a very quick yet beautiful and long wearing makeup routine or makeup look that you can wear to a football game, to <laughs> your family, out to a friend giving or if you're home kicking it back solo like this is perfect for any occasion so we're going to start with the super stay skin tint i'm wearing the shade 322 um i love this so much it lasts up to 24 hours and the claims are not a joke i'm going to pull my bangs back so you guys can see the claims are no joke you don't even need to prime i prime with any other base products but with this one i don't even prime because it will not move so that fell we're going to start with applying it straight to the face with our hands. Most of the time I use beauty sponges um, and brushes, but for this product, for some reason, I like the way it applies so much better when I just use my hands and it's easier for everyone. So, and don't worry if it's not a perfect match because we're going to conceal, we're going to contour and everything else will even out. I love that. It looks just like your skin. <laughs> it looks just like skin and it feels very light. Like if you're not wearing anything, that's why I feel like it's so perfect regardless of the occasion, because um, it's not going to be too much, but it's also not too little. Here we go. Blends, blends, blends. Make sure you bring it down to your neck. Can't forget that. Perfect. Okay, so my concealer did fall. One second. Ah, here we go. And we're going to conceal using Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Have any questions coming through the chat? Don't have any yet, but I will definitely jump in and let you know if we have any. But we just want to thank everyone at home spending time with us this afternoon. Yes, excited to have you guys. Yes. All right, so this is the concealer. So this is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser, correct? Is this the one that you're working with today? Yes, so I wanted to bring out a brand new one for you guys, and we're gonna hear the click click that everyone loves from Instant Age Rewind. <laughs> this gives up to 12 hours of hydration. hydration. It's a multi-purpose, product. So you can conceal, you can brighten, you can contour. Um, I love this, especially if anyone is traveling 
for the holidays, it's very easy to just talk two or three in your bags and they're, and you can use them for so many different areas of your face. And actually you don't even need foundation if you're going for a lighter glam or if you're packing really lightly, um, only going away for the weekend. You don't want to bring too many things, you know? Um, you can throw two of these in your bag, two different shades, one for concealing, one for contouring, and you have a full face just using two products. I like to put it under my eyes for the under bag, for the under eye bags, the bridge of the nose, right here on my forehead, above the lip and my chin, because you want to bring brightness to where the sun usually hits and to the lightest parts of your face so that your face looks sculpted. We're doing a full contour routine here for our holiday glam. And don't be scared to contour. It's very easy to achieve. I'm gonna show you. Now I'm just blending out my concealer with a sponge. Sorry if I keep looking down. I have a mirror down here and I wanna make sure everything is blended for you guys. No, it looks great. And it is, it's blending beautifully. Like it's really like going in with the foundation perfectly. So I love perfectly. that. Perfectly. So and like you, I said, oh no, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, so you said that has hydration too, right? So we're putting hydration under our eyes. We're putting hydration under our eyes. That's so important. And then I also like to bring it to the to, to my lids as well, because you don't want to leave your eyelids with no foundation or no no product on them. Yeah. So true. <laughs> yes, because I feel like you don't notice it as much when you're looking at yourself on the camera, but when you take a photo, you're like, oh my God, I missed my my eyelid. They're bare. <laughs> I love that. And it's really brightening your eyes. I mean, you already had naturally bright eyes, but it's really, really brightening every area that you put um, the concealer on. So I love that. Every area. Yeah. And then we're going to balance it out with powders. So don't be alarmed. This is going to all blend beautifully. Where's my contour shade, which also fell here we go. This is my favorite. So again, we used Instant Age Rewind Concealer to conceal under the eyes. And now we're going to use a deeper shade to contour. This is the perfect applicator to contour. So you want to add some right here around the cheekbones because you want like a lifted sculpted look. Thumb to your forehead because naturally, you know, your forehead is usually a little tanner. And then the other side as well. If you wanna get super exciting, you can go ahead and even contour your nose. We're just gonna add a little bronzer and then you blend and it blends in like a dream. Like it looked a little intimidating when you just see like a dark, harsh line, but literally with three strokes of my brush, it's already blended into my skin. And so this is this is just another con concealer. And just this is the shade. same concealer, different shade. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Beauty has like, no rules. Makeup has no rules. So at home, it's just another concealer, which is awesome. It can do everything. This is amazing. And you're um, getting that extra hydration. <laughs> no, amazing. And then also, like I said, if you're packing light for a trip and, and you're going away, let's say for, for Thanksgiving weekend, you only want to bring a few things with you. Um, it's perfect to just toss two of these shades in your bag and you have a full face. You don't have to do the foundation part. I'm just doing it for an extra glam moment. But you really don't have to. Then we're going to go in with Cheek Heat. And this is the cream blush. When it first comes out of the pack, it looks so intimidating because it's very, very pigmented. You're like, no way I can put yeah. this on my face and not look like a clown. But I, this formula blends in so well and it's not as scary as it looks when it first comes out. It adds a flush, a natural flush of color that we took away when we concealed. So now we're getting that color back. And I don't know where you guys are located. However, I'm in New Jersey and it is very, very cold. And it's November. My tan is gone, but I refuse to accept it. Okay. So I just put it back on. I put my tan back on. I put my sun kissed glow back on with my makeup. I love that. I am in Dallas, Texas. And 
I think it was like pool season up until just a couple days ago. And we just had a cold front come in yesterday, hence the turtleneck. Um, so now I'm very nervous about saying goodbye to my tan as well. But now we don't have to, you guys. And the rosy cheeks, we don't have to. And You don't have to worry. And the cheek heat is coming on so naturally. Because I will say the first time I used this, I was like, oh. <gasps> I don't know if I want to put that bright of a color on my, it's beautiful. I just can't, I just can't do it. It makes um, all the difference. I feel like when I first concealed, right, it's like, oh my God, scary is so bright. <laughs> but that's because you want your under eyes to be brighter than the rest of your face as you add on the rest of the products. And you're putting that color back into your skin the way it naturally, you know, the way you naturally get tan or the way your, your skin naturally um, gets color. It's like with a little extra zhuzh. <laughs> No, I love that. I'd bring some to the bridge of my nose too, because you know, when you just got back from the beach and your nose is like a little red and burnt, I like that look. And oh, I'm gonna keep too. it. It's so cute. So I'm gonna yes. keep it. Even though it's freezing cold out. No, I love it. Cause I always think it makes me look like I like do outdoor activities. I'm like, oh, this <laughs> looks like I've been like hiking all day. Like, I love it. I'll always put a little bit on my nose. <laughs> me too. Me too. I will always put a little bit on my nose. Um, I personally like to have a matte finish. So you don't have to do this if you have very dry skin. However, I like to set my makeup so that it lasts even longer. I use Superstay Skin Tint as my base, and now I'm gonna go in with the Superstay Powder Foundation. You could use this all over as your foundation, or you could use this to set your makeup. I'm gonna use it today to set my makeup. It also lasts up to 24 hours. So the skin tint lasts up to 24 hours. The powder lasts up to 24 hours. Your makeup is not going anywhere. You are good for the holiday, I tell you, you what. <laughs> regardless of what your plans are. Yes, no reapplying, which I love. So that 24 hour lasting is great because you don't really have to touch up anything. Once it's there, it's there, right? It's there. It is not going to move. And I've never seen a formula like Super Stay Skin Tint where truly, even if it's the hottest day in the summer, that formula will not budge. You will not need to retouch your makeup. And I feel like there's definitely a difference between achieving like a healthy glow and just looking like overall oily. Um, so this is this will still let like some of your natural oils shine through a little bit, but you're not going to look oily or your makeup will not move. I learned this online from a makeup artist and he says that, you know, first you set your makeup and then you bake because, again, we really don't want this to go anywhere. We're going full glam. So now I'm going in with loose powder, also with a damp sponge. And this is Fit Me Loose Powder. If you want, you can even leave this on your, you can bake with it, which is applying a big amount, putting it under your eyes or everywhere that you're going to set your makeup. And then leave it on for a few minutes, like five minutes, move on to something else, do some eyeshadow, put on mascara, and then go back in and pack it into the skin, like blend it into the skin. You could do that, but I feel like I don't need it because I just use two powders. But if you have extremely oily skin, baking is definitely a great idea. And so um, Allison is in the chat and she's asking why um, does the sponge need to be a little damp when applying this, uh, the Fit Me? That's because these are all powders and you don't want it to look like you have powder on your face, right? You want it to like melt it to the skin. So this changes the formula a little bit so that it goes into the skin much more natural and you look like, like it looks more like skin. Yeah, I love that. No, that's great. And that was a good question, Allison. Thanks for asking because great question. I was starting to wonder that. So I'm glad someone asked. <laughs> yeah, it's a great question to ask. Yeah. Okay. Now that we have all that in place, we're gonna go in with our bronzer. City Bronzer gives the most beautiful, natural looking tan you could ever ask for. And I'm gonna pack that on in the same place that I uh, contoured. But because I put so much powder over it, I need to go back in with a bronzer to bring that color back into my face. So is this a matte bronzer or is there some shine to this? 
This is a matte bronzer. That's a great, great question. And this is the shade 300. And I love that. Um, so anyone at home that kind of wants, I like to put my own highlighter on at the end. So the matte is like, for me, is like where it's at. I love the matte. And so you're kind of, you're hitting everywhere you put the contour, correct? Everywhere I put the contour, just going back and redefining those cheekbones. Okay, awesome. Next up, we have blush. I was not a blush girly for a long time. I skipped blush, but then I always felt like something was missing, right? You look at me now and it feels like something is, is just missing and it's blush because we all have like a natural flush to our face. And when you put all these powders on, it kind of goes away a little bit. So I'm going to use Fit Me Blush in the shade 30. This is such a pigmented formula. A little goes a long way. And it comes in such a beautiful range of shades. And I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And then also where I contoured. Oh, I love that. And so, and then we have Kate. Kate is asking, um, do we need to use both the blush and the cheek heat? Or can we just use the cheek heat or why, why, why should we use both? Yes, that's a great question. The reason why I use both is because again, I have combination for oily skin. So I put on all the creams and then I put powder over it and I feel like I lose a lot of it. So then I go back in, but then when I don't do cream and powder combined, I don't have as much of a glam moment. So if I'm going to the office for a regular day at work, I would skip the cream blush, I would skip the cream contour, and I would just go in with my powders. If I'm going to a party, an event, I will do the cream and the, and the powders because I want to pack it on. Like I want to get a full glam look. And then if I'm going somewhere like the beach, yes, yes, I wear makeup to the beach. I just do the creams because I want it to look really natural, no powders, just like a, a glowy look. So it depends, where, depending where I'm going, depends if I'm using one or the other or both. Okay, awesome. Um, more. No. This blush is not matte. It has a shimmer to it, but it has the most beautiful, like little specks of sparkles where you can't really see it, but you just look very radiant and healthy. I love that. And everyone, everything that Giselle is using, you can um, shop at your local exchange um, where the Maybelline products are sold and also shopmyexchange.com. Um, and so make sure to load up. These are great gifts for yourself. Um, and they're also make great gifts for the makeup lover um, in your life. And a lot of these make great stocking stuffers too. Like these are great to, to stuff into stockings or, or put as, as little gifts for people. So just keep that in mind because holiday season is here. It is here. <laughs> it's here. And the best part about the Maybelline products is that are, they're affordable. So when you pick a gift for someone, you can get one for yourself too. And that's the right way to shop. I'm like, I can't just shop for others. I need to grab something for myself too. Exactly. You deserve it. You were, you know, you worked hard all year too. Like just you worked hard. hard. <laughs> yes. Just remember <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last step for the like overall face would be mascara. And I love the Sky High mascara. It went viral for a reason. And I don't know what's so magical. What's what what's in this magical formula? But something about it makes it so good. I really feel like I don't need falsies when I wear sky high mascara. I love that. So um, the first time I ever heard about um, Sky High Mascara, I it was on social media, of course. And someone did this thing that I never really heard of, but it was something I, I think I've struggled with in the past. They did the, um, I think they did the second pass um, challenge to see if they went with this product, they went through their lash a second time to see if it clumped doing a second layer. No 
clump, you guys. No so clumping. Clump. It passed the test. <laughs> How many layers didn't I just put on as you told that story? <laughs> right, a lot. And there's no clumping. And so there's I no that. clumping. I, and it made me realize like, oh, I've, I've run into that issue with other mascaras and didn't even think about it. So it's a real issue, but it's not an issue you'll have with the sky high. Right. I just pack it on, pack it on. No, I love, love, love that. And it looks so good. I mean, just seeing the difference <laughs> on each Truly. eye right now, Giselle, it's amazing. Truly. I love this mascara so much. Everyone in my family is always texting me like, hello, I need a new sky high. They <laughs> don't use great anything stop else. Stuffer, one great stocking one stuffer. Friend, a family member. Yes, no, these are awesome. Truly. And I feel like sometimes mascara is such a great gift because it's one of those things that people don't really want to buy for themselves. Like, but you need to replenish it every couple of months, but they'll just have like a super old mascara. I don't want to grab one for themselves. So whenever I get one gifted and I have a lot of friends that are makeup artists and I always give them mascaras and they're just so happy because truly like to have to pick one up yourself, you're like, oh, that's not a spawn. There's other things that I would rather buy, you know? But when you get one, you're like, oh my God, I really needed this. Thank you. It's a necessity for sure. No, I love this. And um, so we have Megan um is asking so the sky high i have the vivid black in my hand but megan's asking are you using um the vivid black as well i am using very black oh very black very black mine says very black as well megan my eyes i did not wear my glasses or contacts <laughs> today very very black yeah so megan very black sky high maybelline local exchange shopmyexchange.com get a couple might as well just load up. Might as well just load up. So another technique that I like to do, I don't want to leave my eyes bare, but also we said this is going to be quick, easy holiday gun, right? So a good trick is just to take your bronzer. Also, if you're packing light for the weekend, you don't want to bring too many bright products with you. Like who's going to pack an eyeshadow palette, right? You take your bronzer and you put it on your eyelids and it makes a difference. Yes. It gives it a good warm color. It, it ties in the tan. It ties it all in together. <laughs> it gives it, yeah, it gives us such a bronzy look. And it also photographs so beautifully. Like when I skip the bronzer, I'm like, oh my God, I forgot to put bronzer on my eyes. I okay. Beautiful. For the eye. Beautiful. <laughs> um, let's see here. Next, next, next. Okay. So we kept it simple. But the best technique is to, for, for, uh, for a makeup to look extra glam, is to pop on a bold lip. A bold lip is the best accessory. And let's see here, I'm opening up my lip liner. I'm gonna use my teeth. <laughs> I feel like everyone's been there. If you have not used your teeth to open <laughs> new oh, cosmetics, perfect. well, that's great. I feel like I always have to. So we're starting always with the lip liner. We're, right? we're starting with the lip liner in the color Divine Wine. We're going to pop on a bold red lip. However, bold lips and red lipstick or deep colored lipsticks can be tricky. I feel like I have more control when I use the lip liner. And I try to use one that's a little bit deeper than the lipstick that I'm gonna use because I also like to have a little bit of a contrast and define my Cupid's bow and my lip and outline my lips. So again, we're going in with the color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Divine Wine. I love that. And thank you everyone um, for watching and spending time with us. Got a lot of people watching right now, and we just want to thank everyone for spending time. Um, I know the holiday season is upon us, and Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so there's a lot going on, a lot of big plans. So um, if you're just joining us, I'm here with Giselle from Maybelline, and we are going over just a quick little glam makeup routine just in time for the holidays if you have any thanksgiving plans um and this is just takes a few minutes and you're just 
it look it looks great with easy steps and you made a good point Giselle earlier especially if you're traveling this look does not require a lot of products so no. you don't have to travel with a lot which is nice especially if you're doing a carry on through the airport um and, and just tossing up new things in your backpack exactly yes and everything meets the the traveling tsa requirements so that is always a plus <laughs> yeah or even like if you're traveling in your car right and you don't want to bring too many bags with you um I, I use these products in multiple ways so that you don't have to bring too many things in your bag so Hello. now we're going to go in super safe vinyl ink in red hot you have to shake it first to activate the formula because it is going to be shiny, a shiny red lip. Talk about making a statement. And it okay. is supposed to last up to 16 hours. It's going to be a bright, bright red. So let's go. Okay, so we shake. Okay. I'm going to try this color too. This is very, this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but it's too beautiful to not try. So we're going to try it as well. Oh my you gosh, so beautiful it looks on you, Giselle. <laughs> really? Yes. No oh, one. Now I'm, now I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I can get it. Yours is awesome. You know what? The lip liner helps with control and to make sure that you get the lines perfectly because it is a little bit more difficult when it's such a bright color. Also, I agree with what you said. Wearing a bold lip is out of your comfort zone, and so it is out of mine too. However, I look forward to the holidays because it's the one time that I'm going to step out of my comfort zone and rock a bold lip. It, you were like made for a bold lip though, Giselle. I never, I always do my nude lip combo, but I get so excited when there's Christmas plans, holiday plans, <laughs> um, anything festive from this time of year until January 3rd, I can rock any bold lip. So I love that. Because any other time of year, catch me wearing a nude. Well, and it looks great with um, the lip liner. Oh, yes. Gives it some um, dimension and it looks, it looks very holiday. You are ready for all the good food that Thanksgiving brings tomorrow. And you said it lasts for 16 hours? Up to 16 hours. So you also don't have to worry about reapplying your red lip that is awesome you look terrific and that was a quick and easy tutorial and in a very perfect holiday look but also a, just a nice everyday look what i like that you can kind of change some things and tweak it a little bit based on what you're doing that day right and with the same product so sometimes you're going on a trip and you're doing multiple things right one day you might be hiking or going to the beach another day you might be going out at night and you can use these products intertwine them interchange them to um create the look that you want to achieve at that moment and again i feel like it might have been not as you know glamorous but popping on a bold lip really takes it to the next level so if you're quick and in a rush, you know, you were cooking all day. The family's almost here. You only have 25 minutes, 30 minutes to get ready. And you want to look fabulous. You could do it. You could you do can. it. You can. It's, it's very easy. And I am not an expert like you, Giselle, when it comes to makeup. Like, not at all. So Beauty Tribe at Home, if I can do it, so can you. And yes. I like just the minimum products, the minimum applicators. It's a very easy look to achieve and you can still make it uniquely yours, um, which I like too. There's ways to alter it. Um, Cause I know it was asked earlier about the cheek heat. If you don't want a lot of color, you can stop at the cheek heat, right? And make yeah. it a little bit more natural. Yeah, or if you don't like to use cream blush then you can just go in with the Fit Me blush. Mm -hmm. So the world is yours. There are no rules when it comes to makeup. There is none. And we have um, time for one more question. So um, we have Teresa is asking about the Super Stay 24 Hour Skin Tint. Um, she's asking, is this buildable? Buildable? Can we get more of a fuller coverage with the skin tint? 
That's a great question. I put on a baby amount and look at this glam moment. It is medium to full coverage. It is so buildable with two more layers of this. This is my go-to. That's why I always bring it with me on vacation because like I said, if I'm doing something more chill during the day, I can use one layer of skin tint. If I'm going out at night and I want a full glam moment, pop on two layers and you're ready to take on the world and it will not move. It will not budge. So it is medium to full coverage and you can build it on because you saw, you guys all saw how I blended like a drink. You just add a little bit more and you'll get the coverage you want to achieve. I love that. No, thank you so much. Um, and thank you so much for everyone for all the amazing questions. And I'm, I definitely learned something today. So I know Beauty Tribe at Home, I know you guys um, did too. And just a reminder, these products can be found at your um, local exchange as well as shopmyexchange.com. This is part of our everyday low pricing for our military community. So be sure to grab these incredible products. Um, definitely sold on the Red Hot, like love it love it like it's beautiful and you went in there with the lip liner what what was that divine wine lip liner yes yeah it looks so so good i wasn't, and I wasn't really sure about the colors together at first but it's gorgeous trust the process <laughs> <laughs> i love it look at it it's beautiful no and giselle thank you so much for spending time with us today it means so so much and um i am wishing you a very very happy thanksgiving you too i hope you guys have a great holiday i hope you guys learned a lot I'm excited to try new products and have the best time this week and in the next couple of weeks as well thank you so much giselle and here at bd live it's never goodbye it's always to see you later um so um, thank you so much, Beauty Tribe. I know I say this every show, but I mean it from the bottom of the heart, um, my heart, <laughs> bottom of my heart, um, and everyone that is a part of the show that you don't see. You guys could be doing anything um, with your afternoon, and especially the day before Thanksgiving when there's so much to do, family's coming into town, you're, you're cooking dinner, you're getting all everything ready for all the festivities you have planned but you've chosen to spend it with us and it means the world to me to giselle and to everyone behind the scenes of beauty live that make this possible so thank you thank you thank you and we wish you just the best thanksgiving i know we have um some incredible men and women um serving our country that do not get to be home for the holidays with their family um and and we just we wish you the best and we can't wait for you to come home and and come back with your family soon um so happy happy thanksgiving thank you so much to everyone and thanks for tuning in and we will see you later.